Hello, welcome to episode 4 of the Code Wheeler Basics series. You are watching Caffeine TV and I am your host Konishko underscore developer. Today we are taking a look at the different types of blocks. For that we will first have to head over to the blocks workspace. Now that we are here, we can start exploring the different types of blocks. We have already discussed the built-in blocks which are control, logic, map, text, lists, dictionaries, colors, variables and procedures. What we are going to take a look at today however are the different types of component blocks. We will click button 1 here and now we have access to the different component blocks. These are specific to buttons. We have the yellow event handlers, the purple procedures and the setters and the getters. The dark green ones here are the setters and the light green ones are the getters. Now you may ask what do they set and get? Well, the set and get the properties associated with the specific component. Here you can see this block right here fetches button one's font size and this one right here sets button one's height percent. But notice that there is no getter for the height percent property. Why that happens? We'll discuss it later because that's a more advanced topic. Anyway, let's discuss what these four types of blocks do. The event handlers trigger when a specific event in your app takes place. For example, when I click button 1, this event handler will execute. This is what we used in the previous episode to add user interaction to PR1. Now going into Notifier 1's blocks, we can see the procedure that we used in the previous episode. The only type of component blocks that we haven't used yet are the setters and the getters. These blocks come in handy when you want to check some properties of your components. For example, if I want to check if the notifier 1 is using the light theme, I can drag this here and when this block is evaluated, it will either return true which means notifier 1 is using the light theme or false which means notifier 1 is not using the light theme. We will get rid of this and coming back to label 1 now, you will see this setter block. Now this comes in handy when you want to change the properties of your components while the app is running. So while the app is running, let's say when button 1 is clicked, I want to change label 1.text to you just clicked the button. And when we run the app now, label 1's text will change from Codular Basics EP4 exclamation mark to you just click the button exclamation mark. These are all the different types of blocks you will be using to create your apps. The event handlers, the constant data blocks, the variables, the setters and getters and procedures. Whatever you do in Codular will be done with these types of blocks. Everything from the simplest PR1 to the most complex projects you will undertake will use just these blocks. And yes, while this may seem deceptively simple, you can accomplish great things with just this handful of types of blocks. This wraps up episode 4. In the next episode, which comes out on Sunday, we will be taking a look at the different properties components can have. Of course, we will not be able to cover all properties that all components have. But we'll take a look at some of the properties of the components we already have in this project to better understand what the getters and setters accept as arguments and what they are fetching because you need to know the valid data types for the properties and you also need to know the data type returned by the getter in order to properly use the data in your app. Otherwise, if you are expecting a text but you are returned a list, errors will arise. And that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you like the video, share the video with those who may need it, subscribe for more content and let me know down in the comments what you want to see. Enough talking for now, I'll see you on Sunday, happy coding.